Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time and I feel like I start every video with that lately, but yeah. Even though I've been sort of away from YouTube, I have still been buying makeup and trying new things. So I do have another haul for you today. Um, it's probably gonna be really long. <laughs> And it's a collective haul, so I have Sephora, ColourPop, BoxyCharm, Drugstore, I think that's it, and Pure Cosmetics. Yeah, so let's just get started, and you can see all my mess in the background, I'm sorry, and my... Uh, this is like really ugly, this thing here, but it's been so helpful for me. I have like... Um, to-do list. I have my meal plan and this one is a workout schedule. So it's been super helpful for me, but it looks really ugly. <laughs> and it has to be like at that level because I can stand and write on it, but so just ignore that. But anyway, yeah, where do I begin? Well, I'll start with ColourPop because it's what I'm wearing on my eyes. Um, and I've been playing with it a lot because I was really excited. So I finally got my hands on the Sailor Moon collection. I did get the whole collection, um, mostly because I was like in a panic when I bought it. <laughs> and because it's, I think I got this on the third restock. So it had already sold out twice and within like minutes. So I just put the whole collection in my cart yes uh, i don't yeah i'm really happy about it so i guess we'll start with the palette so this is the packaging which i'm never getting rid of and it looks like this i don't can you see yeah so like her mouth opens and closes it's one of those things um, you know, those reflective things. And it's the Sailor Moon Times Colourpop Pretty Guardian palette. And this is what it looks like. So there's no mirror here, which, whatever. Sometimes I wish there was a mirror in all my palettes, but really only if I'm using them, like, in YouTube videos, because otherwise I use my makeup mirror that I have in front of me. But these are the colours. Um, they're super pretty. I've used all of them except um, this like bronzy one, this yellow one, this purple, and I think I only swatched the pressed glitter. But yeah, I really am happy with it. I don't, yeah, I guess you can see in this horrible lighting that I always have. <laughs> um, but I used today the shade Tuxedo Rose all over the lid and I was really impressed with the pigment. It was like really bright and not patchy at all. And I really like the transition shades, at least for my skin tone. This, um, not that one. This one, Twilight Flash and Moon Castle. I really like those. Those are matte shades. Those are actually the only two mattes. Oh, and this one is a matte Miracle Moment. So there's three mattes. And this shade here is, I believe, a Super Shock Shadow. It doesn't say that anywhere though, but I'm pretty sure because it's like squishy. Um, and I always use that for my inner corner highlight. It looks kind of like icy white in the pan, but it actually has a gold shift. So. I really like that, but I have to apply it with my pinky finger because it doesn't pick up with a brush because it's more like a, well, it's a super shock shadow, so if you know what that is, you know the texture of that. But yeah, I really like it. The only thing I'll say is um, when I was doing this look, I was, I found myself wanting like a deeper shade for the outer V and there's really no deep shades in this palette. So I tried to deepen it up with this shade, Love, but kind of just blended together with this one. But yeah, I really like this for like a soft, like obviously it's gonna be a very pink look, 
but I think that's true to Sailor Moon. I mean, it's not going to be a smoky eye palette, you know? So that's my thoughts on the palette so far. Then I got the two blushes, which right away I'll say I wish they were different, like the packaging and the actual component because when you buy a whole collection of something it kind of would have been nice to have different images but this is what the I uh, the what do you call this the blush packaging looks like it's a little like cartoon of Luna and Sailor Moon it's really cute I just wish like there was different options you know and this is what it looks like. Oop, there's the plastic. So there is a mirror on the blushes. And there's a little cat, well it's Luna, um, pressed in. So it's really cute. Um, the only thing is, like I just said, same packaging on both. This is the shade Cat's Eye, I believe. Yeah, Cat's Eye. So it's a shimmery pinky maybe a little coral too and the other shade I feel is very similar so again I was hoping for more variety because most people did buy the whole collection I think like so I mean at least if you're like a real real Sailor Moon lover um, Sailor Moon was like one of my favorite shows as a kid. I had all the dolls, but actually Sailor Moon is not my favorite um, character. It's actually Sailor Jupiter because she had brown hair, so <laughs> I related to her the most. But this is the other shade. So it's very, it's like a fuchsia almost, but they're both like in the same pink family. So. I kind of wish one was more maybe like a nudie blush. I actually haven't used the blushes yet. I only used the eyeshadow palette and then the lip sets, the lip bundles. So um, there's a moonlight bundle and the daylight bundle. And I find the shades are quite similar again. Um, but I do really like them. And I had never tried the Ultra Blotted Lip from uh, ColourPop before. And I really like it. I'm not wearing it right now, but it feels really nice. It's kind of like a liquid lipstick, but more softer, like diffused color. And obviously without the like dry down of a true liquid lipstick. So. Um, in the Daylight Bundle, you have the shade Uzagi. It's this pink shade here. And each one comes with an ultra blotted lip and a lip gloss. Ultra glossy lip, sorry. And with this bundle, you get the shade Moon Tiara. This is the packaging, by the way very cute. I hope that um, these moons and like the logo don't wear off because I have another um, ColourPop. I have the Hello Kitty one. Is that it? Something I got in a boxy charm and it like wore off right away even though I like never used it. So it has a brush tip and it's like a nice peachy shimmery gloss, like a nude gloss, and they smell really good. And I have worn them both together, and the formulas work really well together too, so that's good. So that was Daylight, and I'll swatch Moonlight um, so you can see. There isn't much difference though, to be honest. So the ultra blotted lip in this one is called Bunhead. Like, look how similar that is. That's Bunhead. And the ultra glossy lip is Sailor Moon. It's 
So, I mean, no one really needs both of these, to be honest. I would have hoped, like, there'd be more differences between them, but... I mean, they are nice shades, and I do like this shade of pink on me. I hate what I've realized is that uh, like light pink nudes do not work on me at all. So I'm happy they're more deeper, but they just look so similar. Like I can barely see the difference between the ultra blotted lips. But anyway, and then the other two products, I don't know when I'm going to use these because they're the Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitters. I mean, they say it's a body glitter because it's technically not eye safe, but I'm sure a lot of people would put it like around the eye here. These are really cute, but I just don't really have a lot of situations, especially during a pandemic where I'll be going somewhere where I'll wear glitter on my face, you know? <laughs> so this one is Moon Prism Power and this is the packaging. Everything is very cute. It has a stopper and it looks like, okay, you can see that. It looks like this. I don't know if you can even see but there's like moons and stars in it it's really cute these smell like play-doh so <laughs> and then there's the shade moonlight legend this one's more well i say it's more pink but there's not really like a shade to this it's more just like a jelly base with the glitter uh, suspended in it. So I should swatch this. This one, it doesn't have shapes. It's just like um, different sizes of glitter. You can't really tell, but that's that one. I actually haven't checked if this is even still available. I know they did another restock since I bought this, but I don't know if it's still available. And I don't know what they're doing because... Obviously people want this collection. There's the little moon. You can tell. It's a terrible swatch, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, obviously people want this because it sells out every time, so I don't know why they just don't make enough, <laughs> like, or why they just don't make it, like, permanent, I don't know. If I, um, remember, I'll leave some information below, um, if it's still there. So yeah, that was the Sailor Moon collection, very cute. So now I'll have glitter on my hand for the whole video. <laughs> oh well. And by the way, if you haven't purchased from Colourpop before and you're from Canada, um, I used to never buy anything from Colourpop because I was worried about like fees and duties and all that, which I still am. But uh, when I bought this, there was actually an option when you went to pay for shipping that said like um, shipping with duties and taxes included. So that was really good because I think that's new because I remember wanting to buy ColourPop before and when I got to the checkout, I was like, wait, so this is in American dollars plus shipping plus I'll be charged customs and fees. I was like, this is not even worth it. <laughs> But yeah, this is the first collection from them that I was like, I have to have it just for like nostalgia's sake. Um, and it came really like relatively quickly and yeah, so it was a good experience if you're wondering. Because uh, I know I said before on my channel like, I'm never buying from Colourpop. Well, now I have. <laughs> um, so I guess... 
Let's do boxy charm. And I don't even remember if I already hauled these, so I'm sorry if I did. I just had everything in the same box, so I figured I hadn't shown you before. But um, the first thing is actually um, like one of my favorite products right now. It's the Iconic London Illuminator. So it looks like this. It's a liquid highlighter and it comes in a dropper. So it is very metallic. Like I put two dots. Um, I'm wearing it today, but I put something over it that I'll show you later. Um, yeah, this is, I really like this though. And especially lately when I have been wearing makeup, I've been doing like almost a full face of cream products. So it's really good to have a cream highlighter too. So you don't mess up all your other products on your face. So the only thing is that it dries down really fast. So I put two dots and then I blend it out with my finger. And today I used it on the uh, Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation and I find like it didn't really mix well with that so I don't know if it will go with all kinds of formulas but I've been really liking that so far so I just wanted to mention that. And um, I also got the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I was really excited about this because I actually wanted to buy this at Sephora. Um, the only thing is like I only had a certain um, option for shade range because they send you an email and they're like, um, we're going to have this in the box, what shade do you want? And I just chose like the lightest one that was available, which was Pearl. So it looks like it's going to be really light in the packaging, but it's because it's like a frosted plastic, it's actually a bit darker when you, if you can tell. Well, it looks really light on camera, but it's actually quite peachy. So it's not like exactly my shade. I would have liked to get maybe a shade or two lighter because I prefer um, a brightening concealer but it still works. So I have it on as my spot concealer and under eye, and I think it looks okay. Um, but I did use also the Becca under eye brightening setting powder. So that could be why it looks quite bright, but yeah, I'm liking it so far. It's not like doing anything crazy. It doesn't look too crepey. So yeah, I was happy to get that. And I also got a setting spray, the Ciate Everyday Vacay Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I might have shown this already, I don't remember anymore. But this is the bottle, I haven't tried it yet. Um, because I actually have another coconut setting mist that I'm trying to test out. But yeah. Let's, I don't even know if I ever sprayed this. Oh, let's do some. Hmm. Um, it smells good. It's not like just coconut, I feel. Yeah, it really, it smells like a vacation. Like it smells like sunscreen and fruity drinks. <laughs> but, um, and the spray, it's a bit intense, but not as bad as like Mac Fix Plus or something that drenches you. So that's good to know. And I got the Touch and Soul Glassy Pretty, F wait, what is this called? The Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I might have talked about this before, because I, I don't know. If I have, sorry. <laughs> uh, the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm, an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture 
that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. Oh, yeah, I think I did because I remember being like, what? It says, at the last step of skincare routine, apply evenly to the face as needed to achieve dewy and glowing skin. Applying two or three times allows for even longer lasting wear. It's almost like you can use it as a primer, but you can also just wear it alone. And it's in a jar like this. I don't know if I've ever opened this, to be honest. It's very, like it looks like a cream. So obviously I don't have any thoughts on this because I've never used it. Um, and I have two eyeshadow palettes. I got this one first, the Pure 12 Piece Press Pigment Palette, the Festival 2.0. So I have gotten the um, the first festival palette in another boxy charm and this is the packaging and these are the colors I feel like it's very pure cosmetics like it's nothing um, out of the ordinary for them it looks nice but I haven't used it yet so I can't really say <laughs> If there's anything in this video you want to see a dedicated like review or tutorial with, I use the term tutorial loosely because I'm not um, a professional, but <laughs> yeah, so I did get that palette. And then recently I got this Butter London Teddy Boy 9-piece eyeshadow palette. That's the box. And this one I was pretty... Um, excited about because it's like very unique to my collection. It's um, like this so it opens this way. Oh, there's still the plastic. But it's very like cool tone which I don't usually get in BoxyCharms. So I was happy to see something different. It's almost like a smoky cool tone palette. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to use this too. I'm trying to test out more cool tone eyeshadows because I feel like I always do the same look. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that one. I think that was all the boxy charm that, well, at least what I had in this box of like new stuff. So I did also do an order from well.ca and um, well.ca is like an online drugstore. Um, I think it's probably similar to like Thrive Market in the US where you can buy like everything from like household items to groceries, um, things like that. But um, it's actually exciting for us Canadians because they have Flower Beauty and Wet n Wild and some like drugstore brands that we don't usually see anywhere else. So. I wanted to do a video like a full face of Wet n Wild because I've been like pretty impressed with their products and a lot of people when I did my last video um, was a full face of drugstore I think. Uh, a lot of people were asking me about the Wet n Wild products specifically so I did get some, sorry my camera um, ran out of space as usual. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, a lot of people are asking me about the Wet n Wild products. Um, so I decided to get some more things to try. And I got, this is one that I've been wanting forever, but I could never find it. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour. So it's a little, um, well, as the name suggests, it's a cushion. And it comes with this little um, puff thing but I tried to use it and it's like too dense so I prefer to like put a, a beauty blender or a brush directly in the product and I used it once before and I have liked it so far it's a little like on the warm side like I'm surprised it's called a contour it's more like a bronzer shade but um, I'm going to test that out um, 
few more times. And if I get around to doing that video, I'm gonna use that as well. But I've just been on like a liquid and cream product kick, so I picked that up. And I also got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. I was trying to get enough like to do a full face, so I already have some Wet n Wild products. And I just wanted to get some things that I didn't have. So I didn't have a primer from them. So I got this one to use as like a primer and a setting spray. And I also got the Hello Halo Blush Lighter. I didn't even open this yet. I got the shade Highlight Bling. So I guess it's too... Well, it says Blush Lighter. But like... This is very metallic for a blush, so I don't know if I'll use it um, more as a highlighter. But yeah, it says a blush and highlighter duo instantly sculpts and highlights for a full on strobe effect. So I'm excited to try that and Wet n Wild is super affordable, so there's that. Um, I also got a mascara, but I don't know where it is. Oh. Here it is. Ooh, the light. Um, I've never tried a Wet n Wild mascara before, and this one had, I think, the best reviews. Some of them were not so great. But it's the Mega Length Mascara. Yeah, and the shade Very Black. Oh, it says New Look Improved Formula. So, um, this is new to me. I don't know how long it's been on the market, but yeah. I really like lengthening mascaras, so I'm hoping it's good. The only thing is that it has a comb brush, like a, not a silicone, like a rubbery kind of wand, which I don't always like, but I'll try that out too. I also got two Flower Beauty things. I don't know if I've mentioned this one already. It's the Flower Jungle Lights palette. I got this because Kathleen Lines was raving about it. It looks like this. Um, these are all like lid shades for me, so obviously it's not a full palette because they're all very intense metallic. I think the only one I've used so far is this like lilac-y shade, and it was really pretty, but it did crease. So if I when I use this again, I'm going to use it with an eye primer because these are very like emollient shadows. Should I do swatches? I just feel like I don't want this video to be a million years long, but they feel so, they almost feel like cream shadows. There's some, like that was like barely picking it up. It's pretty intense. Um, and then the last two. Yeah, that lilac shade is like my favorite one in the palette. Look at that. That's crazy. Right? And I don't think it was that cheap. Like it wasn't wet and wild prices, but it's still affordable like compared to anything at Sephora really. Um, which is always good. And I also got the Flower Heat Wave Bronzing Essence. Um, I think when I put this in my cart, I thought it was like the Cover FX um, bronzer drops or like some kind of product like that. But it's actually like a serum that you mix in your foundation. And I did use it today with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Um, I don't know if it really did anything and I was kind of scared because I never used it before so I put like two drops. Um, but yeah, I'll keep trying that out. Yeah, that's what I got from well.ca. Okay, let's talk about Sephora. Actually, no. First, because it doesn't fit in any other category. Um, I got the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie Double Sided Pressed Pigment Palette. This is the packaging. She actually drew all of those herself. 
and I thought that was a really nice touch and I love that it has her um, cats on it. They're so cute. So, oh, here's the back, which is really cool too. This has her picture and it has the shades. So you get like a more neutral side and then a colorful side. If you're not following like makeup Twitter, you probably don't know, but there was like a huge drama about this palette because the site crashed and people paid but never got their order confirmation. It was the whole thing. And it took them like 12 hours to fix the issue. And I guess they just really weren't prepared or I don't know because Pure is not even like a very small brand. Like we actually have Pure at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada at, at some of them, the ones that are beauty boutiques. Um, so they're pretty huge, I would think. So I don't know what happened there. But anyway, a story about this is I went on the website at like 10 a.m. to buy the palette. And I also wanted to get the, what is it called? It's like a three in one or a four in one. It's their foundation. Um, because Robbie Christie always raves about it. So I was like, let me get that at the same time. And then I couldn't like even browse the site and this was even before like the palette launched so i was like this isn't a good sign um <laughs> so i just kept trying to get it because this is the first like collab that i've ever been like oh i really want that um and i feel like she it was like really thought out well and just like something a lot of her audience would like so that's why I'm surprised that they had all these issues but anyway so finally I managed to like 10 hours later literally not that I was sitting at my desk like refreshing but I I didn't have anything else to do that day it was like a Sunday I think so I kept coming back and trying. Finally I got it in my cart and I paid with PayPal. So the payment went through and then I, when it like brought me back to the site, it said order could not be processed. But I paid for it so I was like, okay, there's just like a glitch. Eventually I DM'd them because they were saying like, if you got a, if you paid through PayPal, there was an issue, whatever. So I DM'd them and I was like, um, I just want like a confirmation because the payment went through with PayPal, but it said my order was in process. And when I went to the website, it was like my account didn't even exist anymore. And there was no his like order history. And they're like, oh, don't worry. There's just an issue with PayPal, but everyone that ordered is getting the palette. So I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And then I got a refund. So I was like, okay, so I'm not getting the palette. And then I was like, should I like wait? Cause they had like a, another restock kind of thing to make up for the issues. But I was like, I don't know if I'm getting it or not. So should I buy it? So I emailed the customer service and um, I'm like, I got a refund, but I, I also have an order number. And they're like, oh, no, the order number is for your refund. So I was like, okay, I've never heard of that before. Like getting, when you get a refund, you get an order number. I, I don't know. But at this point I was like, forget it. Like it's not that deep. <laughs> um, so I honestly just forgot about it. I was really like disappointed though, cause I really wanted it. And then it was sold out and never coming back. And then they're like, oh, well you can buy it at Ulta. And I'm like, well, I'm in Canada and you don't ship to Canada anymore. And even if you did, you charge me an arm and a leg. So long story short, a couple weeks pass and I get like this mysterious package that I wasn't expecting. I'm like, what is this? And I opened it and it's the palette. And they also sent a free eyeliner, this on point eyeliner pencil, which is actually really good. I've used it. It's like a very creamy, glidey pencil and there's like a note like saying they're sorry and everything but the thing is I got a refund so <laughs> I 
I hope no one comes for me, but so I paid three dollars for this <laughs> because uh, with the exchange rate and everything, when I got my refund, it was actually three dollars less than I paid, which it was another thing that annoyed me. But anyway, I got I ended up getting it. That was a really long story and probably sounds like I'm a whiner, but I was just like, what's going on here? <laughs> Like, I would hate to be their, like, accounting department. Like, how did they balance all that out in the end? I'll never know. But anyway, I'm really happy with the palette. Well, I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> but what I mean is, like, the colors in person are really nice. Um, so this is the colorful side. So it's all matte shades except the middle shade. Um, and she named them like really cute things. Um, like that one's called Cafe Disco because of the office. And there's like Dandelion, Am I Orange, Flavor Town. So if you know Robbie to Christie, you know like why she named those the way she did. And then you flip it on this side and you have the more neutral side. And this was like the really, um, like the selling point for me because these are all like my favorite shades to use um, especially these like um, kind of mustardy shades here and again on this side you only have the one shimmer in the middle which is called golden ticket so I mean I guess I'm not gonna do a video on this because you can't get it anymore so I guess I'll just use it like in my spare time, but yeah, that was just a really weird story and I also got a free eyeliner. Here's where I don't even remember anymore what I've already shown you, so I'll just go randomly. I got the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. I think this is from the VIB sale, so this it was a long time ago. I didn't buy all this stuff like in the last weeks, you know. Um, so I have been using this. I'm wearing it today. I feel like it's quite light because I can't see it. I do think it is the light shade. So it's the shade Butter Biscuit. It looks like this. It's quite cool toned. Um, but yeah, I really like the formula. It's not patchy, it blends out really well. And I've been using it with this um, Ultimate Buffing Brush from Real Techniques. I really like it because it picks up the product really well and then I can just like buff it out and it looks good. So I'm happy with this. Um, maybe should have got a darker shade, but Oh, actually this is the shade 02, so I think there is a lighter one. But anyway, I, I like it so far. I also got the blush, but I haven't used it yet. And I'm actually not sure how I feel about it. So it's the Freestyle Cream Blush. That's the package. And I got the shade 01 Fuego Flush. And I thought this was going to be like a tangerine like clementine shade but it's like a true orange so I think you can tell like I don't know <laughs> and I feel like everyone on YouTube that bought this felt the same they're like oh it's orange because on like the swatches online made it look really vibrant so yeah I haven't had a chance to try it yet but I got that. I also got on sale the Melt Blueprint stack, I believe. I already got rid of the box, um, but it's one of these stacks, which I think they're discontinuing or at least not making anymore because now they keep releasing palettes. But I really liked the colors in this, so you have these two, like a light blue and a deeper blue. And these are very pigmented. Then you have a matte blue and another, like a, 
what do you call that? Like a cobalt blue, I guess. But then you have some neutrals. So like a pinky tone and a bronze. And a matte brown. And like a another bronzier, like champagne shade. And I really like all these shades. I haven't used this yet though. I was thinking of doing like a, a melt trying melt cosmetics video because I've actually I've yeah I've never tried anything from melt I have a melt lipstick but I okay there goes the lid yeah I have a melt lipstick but I haven't actually tried it yet I don't think so that'll be my first like melt eyeshadow experience um I also got the Tower 28 Magic Hour blush and mini clear gloss. It's like a little set here. So the blush is full size, I'm pretty sure, but the gloss is a mini. And I really wanted the other shade, but the mini only came with this like rosy, dusty rose shade. I did actually use this. Did I say it's, is it called, is the shade called Magic Hour? I think so. Yeah. It says a sun-kissed rosy nude. So it's a cream blush. I really like the packaging. And this brand is like very intriguing to me. But I did use it once and I feel like it like disappeared into my skin. So. I would have liked to have gotten the brighter shade, but I'll try it again. It might have just been like whatever base I had on, but I feel like my skin just like absorbed it and you couldn't even see it after. Um, but this is the gloss. It's just a clear one and I wanted to test the formula, so I don't mind that it's clear. But they've since come out with new glosses. They're like milky ones. And they look really pretty so and I did try the gloss also it's not sticky it's very like balmy so I really like it too so I got that little set and I also got this blush by Stellar it's the cosmic blush in Eclipse this was um, in the sales section and it kept going in and out of stock and it was on my loves list so finally it came back and i was like oh i'll just get it because i guess it's good if it keeps going out of stock but it looks like this this is the blush i'm wearing today and it's very pigmented like when i put the brush in and i actually used the brush because it's one of these packages where it comes down and there's a brush at the bottom and i actually did use the brush um, it's really soft and nice, but maybe it would have been better to use my regular brush because when I went in with the brush, it picked up so much powder. Like this is a very powdery formula for a blush, I find. Usually a blush is more like um, pressed denser, I guess, but I really like it so far. I just maybe should have used less <laughs> um, because it's obviously got a lot of shimmer to it also but i like the shade it's well it's kind of similar to the other one the tower 28 except it's a shimmery formula oh okay and then there was another sale <laughs> i don't even remember what sale this was but i finally got this the huda beauty mercury retrograde palette um this is expensive, like I would never buy probably anything from Huda Beauty unless it was on sale. I feel like it's very overpriced. This is more expensive than the Natasha Denona um, 12, is it 12 pens? I think the 12 pen ones. This is $88 Canadian and I believe when I bought it, it was 40, I think it was 50% off. So I got it because the colors, they just, they get me. That's what they look like. 
Sorry this lighting is not showing things like true. Well, that's kind of better. So I love how this looks. It looks so pretty. And the shimmers, um, I haven't even used this yet. The only shade I did use was the matte cream shade here because I was using another palette and it didn't have a matte cream shade so I opened this one. So I don't have any like review on this obviously but I just love looking at it to be honest. <laughs> but I think I need to start using it too. So um, if you want a video on this let me know because it's actually um, not limited edition. So. I can do that and I also got from the sale section finally I, I just had to pick this up the cat no sorry it's not cat on D don't don't even mention that name it's KVD vegan beauty I got the alchemist holographic palette uh, I think this is $13 and it's regular 44 like I don't know who would have paid 44 for this because I mean it's really cute it's like a triangle can you can even see like yeah the design on there but it's only four shades and I know they look all white on camera but um, they actually have they each have a different color shift and today I'm wearing the shade Opal, which has a pink shift. I think you can tell, like, but I am wearing it. This is what I'm wearing over the iconic London drops. Um, just because I felt like the formula looked weird on top of the foundation, so I went over it with that. But I, I think I like it. I mean, it's not too pink, but... Each shade tells you what the shift is, so you have this um, green shift, it's called emerald. In the middle it's amethyst and it says it's ultraviolet. And this one is sapphire, so it's blue. Let me swatch it because I feel like on camera it just looks like four white circles. Okay, I'm swatching it but over glitter from everything else so did I swatch the same ones yeah. yeah so you can see I did like okay is that better yeah I guess so so there's the green the ultraviolet the blue and the pink um, so these are like multi-purpose kind of um, products you can use them as highlighters or as eyeshadows and I actually do like colored highlighters like depending on what look I'm doing but I have also the Becca ocean something ocean palette where it's like different colored highlighters these ones are more powdery I can tell like right off the bat but they do have a really nice shift and like for 13 bucks and I just kept wanting it for like years. I was like, fine, just get it. But yeah, so that was the Alchemist Holographic Palette. And then um, this is like a YouTuber made me buy it scenario. <laughs> but Makeup by Cheryl, she's one of my favorite YouTubers. She was raving about the Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow from Too Faced. And she's the only person I've ever seen talk about these. They like pretty much launched and dropped off the face of the earth but these are supposedly 24 hour crease proof waterproof and long wear and I got the shade chocolate chai so it's a matte cream shadow which is what intrigued me because the only other ones I know of are the Huda the Huda Beauty I don't even know what they're called they're like double sided but no one seems to like the matte side and for me to have a matte cream shadow is what like intrigued me about those so when she said this one's good I was like oh that's a chance to try a matte cream shade so this is the package it's very cute does this smell like chocolate 
I don't know. It kind of just smells like the liquid lipstick from Too Faced. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but I can tell you now the shade is stunning. It's like a warm brown shade, and I think this will be really nice for fall. I'm just hoping I know how to use it because I've never used a matte cream shade before. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's the, sh the shade is Chocolate Chai. So I really like how it looks. I'm actually gonna leave that on and see how it dries. Um, yeah, and we'll come back to that. I only have a few more things. So this part of the haul, <laughs> these are like multiple hauls from Sephora, not one haul. But this one was because what was it? Oh, it was if you spent $75, you got $15 off. And if you spent $100, you got $20 off, something along those lines. So I went in store and I bought a few things. The first one is something like I really needed. I mean, needed. Like, I didn't need it, but you know what I mean. It's the Patrick Ta... Major Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush and I got the shade Do We Know Her and this is always sold out online so I saw it in store and I thought why not <laughs> and I, it, I had a really hard time deciding between this one and the like the more bronzy one I think it's called She's So LA but I thought I would get more use out of this one so um, this is the packaging. It's like one of those things that you get fingerprints all over if that bothers you, but it's very like sturdy. And you open it up and you have a mirror and your two blushes. So this one is the powder shade and then your cream shade is under um, like a lid, like the Natasha Denona Bloom palette or like the tan one, all of her like small square ones, they have that, which is really good because you won't get the powder mixed in the cream. Wow, the sun is really going down and it's getting very dark in here. <laughs> Sorry. But um, yeah, I've mostly been using the cream shade, but I did use the uh, powder once. And the thing about these is you use the powder before the cream which is like unheard of because normally everyone's like don't put powder before cream it won't work but this product was like the formula was made for that so and when you use them both together it's meant to like be more intensified so it says on the back day or night this dual formula compact allows you to create looks for both and everything in between a luminous sheer cream on one side and a buttery soft powder on the other. Wear them alone or layer for maximum impact. And it is very sheer, like you can build it up um, though, so you just like, you know, however you like it to look. And it says, for a sheer look and dewy glow, dab and blend the cream formula on cheeks. For a soft airbrush finish, sweep the powder onto the apples of the cheeks with the fluffy pow with the fluffy powder brush. For ultimate color payoff, layer the cream formula over the powder for a glossy dimensional look. So yeah, I really like the shade. It's um, basically like a lot of other shades I have. It's like a coral shade, but. Yeah, I really like this, and I've been using the cream side with a new brush that I've also been liking a lot. I can never find it amongst my things. Oh, here it is. Um, it's by e.l.f., and I got it at Walmart. It's the airbrush... No, I didn't get it at Walmart, but you can get it at Walmart, but I got it at Winners because it was cheaper there. So, um, it's the airbrush stipple and it, look how nice this is for elf like it's a clear like plastic but it feels like really nice in your hand and it has um you can't really tell like these longer hairs here 
which I find works best for like cream products. So that's the brush I've been using, but you could also use a beauty blender um, to get the cream shade on. So yeah, so far so good with this one. I don't know if I'll get another shade because uh, this is expensive for what it is, but it's Patrick Ta, so I don't know. Um, then I got another splurge item, the Natasha Denona bronze palette. I told myself I wasn't going to get this, but then I saw it in store and it just looks so nice. And these are like my shades so I know like this is a palette that I wouldn't just use like one or two shades from like I could use all of them so this is the packaging and in the back you see like it has the holes because you can um, poke the shades out because they're metallic no I always say that not metallic magnetic they're magnetic so you can put them like in another palette that you have or I've seen some people they actually like mix the shades of their Natasha Denona palettes into one and make like their favorite palette so I thought that was a cool idea but this is what it looks like the, there's the huge mirror like her other palettes this size so obviously it's very bronze and I did see some people see like there's not a lot of variety in this palette, which I can see, yeah. Uh, I mean, it is what it says, it's a bronze palette, but there's a good mix of mattes um, and shimmers, and the mattes that are in here, um, I really like them normally. And the only thing is there's no like light. Like this is the lightest shade, but that's quite, um, I? but it's kind of it's not orange but it has like an orange undertone so yeah if I ever wanted to like add more of like a brightness I would have to use something else probably but I think the point of this palette is to do a very bronze like sultry look so I can see like why it is the way it is but yeah I just these shades and I haven't have I used this before I think one time I think I only used the shade beach which is a matte shade and the shade silk um, but I haven't really played with it enough so again if you want a, a video on this palette I can do that as well and she just came out with another one and I'm like what are you doing to me but this one is more like my style the the new one the glam palette is a very cool tone like smoky palette and I think I have a dupe for it so I don't think I'll get it and the dupe is the Milani soft soft and sultry palette it has the same kind of shades. I'm sure the formula is not the same because Natasha's um, uh, shimmer shades are like amazing. But yeah, it's a dupe in like the color sense. So if you want me to do like uh, a comparison with that, um, I can do that too. Because I know a lot of people like to see drugstore versions of high-end makeup. Um, because obviously no one wants to spend a lot of money on makeup if you don't have to because the drugstore products are getting pretty good. Uh, I think I only have two more things I hope. Last thing was the most recent purchase that I made and it's because there was a Pat McGrath sale. So I got one of the lipsticks. I got the shade Lux Trend. No. The lipstick product is called Lux Trends, but it's the shade Donatella. This is the packaging, which I might never get rid of. And this has been like on my loves list forever, but I'm just never going to pay full price for Pat McGrath because that's just, that's too much. So it opens like this. I haven't even opened this yet. I do have 
some minis from Pat McGrath, so I know that I like the formula. And this is the lipstick. It looks so pretty. So this is like a deep brown shade. It looks so creamy and nice. And um, I think I got this because of Mel Thompson. I think she always like references this shade and she uses it a lot. So that's why I got that. And it's not a light nude, which I like. I can't find my, like a light nude that's good for my skin tone. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Cause I've been looking for one for like years and they're never like what I want them to be. So I'm hoping I like that shade. And I also got the little mini palette. I don't, should I open this? Okay. I'm gonna open this very carefully because as you can see, there's, what do you call those? Um, not glitter, but you know, those kind of things. So I got this one, I still made a mess because the full-size palettes from Pat McGrath are very expensive and I just wanted to try the formula and I did hear that the formula in these little mini palettes is actually comparable to the formula in her real palettes sometimes when brands do mini palettes the formula is like a lot worse because they're trying to make it less expensive and then it's like but why even try it then so but I did um, watch some reviews when these came out and people said like yeah it's the same formula so um, it's just like in a plastic and this one is these are called the eye ecstasy palettes and this is sublime so it's the neutral one there's only two there's this one and like the colorful one but the colors in the colorful one are not unique to my collection so I didn't want that one and I can't open this <laughs> I don't want to break a nail so these are the shades very pretty yeah so I'm excited to try this out and to see what the, all the hype is about because unless those palettes go on sale I'm probably never going to get one but um, yeah so that's it I know I didn't do a lot of swatches or anything in this video, but that's because I was scared it would be too long. But if you want a more in-depth video on anything, just let me know below. And yeah. Oh, I forgot one thing. I got the Laneige Sleeping Lip Sleeping Mask in Gummy Bear. So I have tried the regular version before. I just had a mini of it and I really like the formula and when I saw they had the new one, the gummy bear, I just had to get it. So it looks like this, it's purple and this smells, this to me does not smell like gummy bears, it smells like purple Flintstone vitamins. If you know, you know, but yeah, so that's, that's it. Um, so I hope you like this video. I'm sure it was very long, but if you stuck around till the end, um, thank you. Um, and give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.